My team investigation by this time tomorrow will know how much the state diesel tax is going up. As we've told you, diesel prices really affect everything from the cost of groceries to the price you pay for unleaded gas. And tonight that state tax is 40 cents a gallon. Chief investigative reporter Matthew Campbell is looking how that compares to other states. The answers we found are leading to more questions. Here's why. Let's start with Connecticut state diesel tax. Like you mentioned, it's 40 cents a gallon. But when you factor in the federal excise tax, it's 64 and a half cents a gallon. Now let's look at some other states. In Illinois, it's 91 cents a gallon. In Indiana, 78 cents. Michigan, 71 cents. Now let's look at the average price of diesel in these states. According to AAA, Connecticut is at 616. Illinois, $5.67, Indiana, $5.88, and Michigan, $5.78. Now, all of these states with higher taxes have lower diesel prices, and we want to find out why. Here's David Cadden, who teaches economics at Quinnipiac. That's higher diesel prices because we've lost about half of the refinery capacity over the last 15 years. Five refineries shut down during the pandemic and have yet to reopen, so lower capacity is definitely one reason. Cadden says the other is simply our proximity to these refineries compared to the Midwestern states we used as examples. In New England, we're getting most of the diesel through a pipeline that takes between 12 and 18 days to ship it up from Houston. But again, because it's so bad, they're bringing it in from the Midwest where they have closer proximity to refineries and they're bring, trucking it here into New England. So how did we get here, we have to go all the way back to 2007 for that answer. That's when the state shifted from a flat tax to this one that's calculated annually. It was done annually so that the um, businesses could enjoy the increases or the reductions in a tax, whereas a flat tax tends to be more onerous. The current price of diesel is what sways it the most, and it resulted in lower taxes during 2020 and 2021 when driving was down. In 2007, that formula got major bipartisan support, passing 134 to 5. Vincent Candelora cast one of those yay votes. Are there any regrets, you know, voting for this, I mean, thinking that we'd ever get to this point? Yeah, I don't regret putting it on this sort of an annualized scale. What I do regret is not eliminating or suspending this tax, at least for a half a year, the way we suspended the diesel, uh, the uh, unleaded tax. Again, the diesel tax amount will be announced tomorrow and will take effect on July 1st. Experts are projecting we could see a 10 cent increase at the very least. Matthew Campbell, Channel 13 News.